Hello everyone, this is my tutorial for Half and Ninth Second Too Late, um, which is a tune written by a friend of mine called Ray Deloso. Uh, it's quite a quick tune, um, but I hope you like it, um, and good luck. Thanks so much for coming along, and um, I'll see you at the end. <laughs> This tune is in E minor, so there's C levers down, we've got F levers up. Uh, I'll just play it through all the way so you know how it sounds now. That's the whole tune. Um, it's in two parts, um, an A part and a B part. Um, so the first phrase of the A part sounds like this. And basically all that is, is you put your second finger on the D and your thumb on to E. And you cross your thumb down to the B. from the G. So, crush your thumb. And try that. One more time. And the second phrase, um, with, starts with uh, your thumb on D and you go up from uh, the A. So that sounds like this. So those two phrases together go Same as the first phrase, so it goes. Um, only this time it ends differently. Um, it goes like this. And all that is, is three up from D with your thumb on G, so uh, you miss out the F. And you play up that. And cross your second finger to the A once you've played your G with your thumb. And then you go back the same way you came up. So you cross your thumb back over to the G. And you play um, the E with your second finger. So that sounds like this. I'm going to try that. Be up from D. Cross. Cross again. So all together, um, that phrase is. And try that. So 
So, so far we have... First phrase then repeats itself again, so but instead and um, this time it ends with a descending scale from the B, so it sounds like this. Um so if we split that into two. The scale um, sounds, it starts with your thumb on B and you go down with four fingers, but you put your fourth on E instead of F. So we're missing out the F. And to play down that, it sounds like this. And then we cross our thumb to the D and place three fingers down from B. So we miss out the C in that one. So that's three down from B, fourth on E. Cross them over to the D and then down. Wanna try that? Yeah. And then to end the phrase, the, the A part, um, it goes up from the A three. Um, as if as if you were doing the second phrase, but instead of ending with a D, we jump up to the A, and we go down with the thumb on A, the second on G, and the third on E. So that ending part is. So that whole thing sounds like this. And try that slowly with the descending scale. And then down three from A. Yeah. So the whole of the A part, um, that's the whole A part. Um, if we try joining that all together, I'll just play it for you slowly. some of those phrases so it's a lot easier um, but as well you have the option of putting in a triplet um, so it sounds like this A triplet in, um, so it would sound like this. Um, but I'll just uh, teach it without the triplet for um, for anyone who doesn't doesn't fancy adding a triplet in. Um, so basically, um, the first phrase of the B part sounds like this. is, is um, 
like a stepward uh, motion from D to E with your thumb on E. But, uh, and the third time you play it through, you cross your third underneath your thumb and play it up from G. Um, so that sounds. Go down four, missing out the F. And try that. begins the same as the first but then you cross your thumb down to the B so it goes down instead of up so then that's down from B and then up again and then hop your thumb back to the D and it's just your second on B then so that whole two phrases sound like this. first phrase repeats itself so it's just but instead of going down and um, the, the way it does does the first time it ends the same way the A part ends so we've got our descending scale down from B just like it is in the A part so the second half of the B sounds like this. So the whole of the B part should sound like this. Try it from the very, very beginning. Um, I'll play it very slowly. Um, so we've got the A part, which starts with a with that phrase. So
watching. And that's half a like second too late, so really well done, getting to the end. Um, just keep practicing it now, I think, and get it under your fingers, um, and you should be good to go. It's a cracking tune um, for sessions and uh, when you're playing with other people, um, so I hope you like it, and well done, and thanks so much for coming.